guys, thanks for tuning back in. As most of you saw some of my video in San Diego, I was on vacation. I came back to work for a week and then I had a great weekend until I came down to Phoenix for some training all this week. Uh, I did have a great weekend with lots of friends, families, and my church congregation. Uh, we played video games, we played uh, Magic the Gathering, we played board games. So I had a blast uh, weekend with, uh, with all that. And uh, since I've been down in Phoenix, I've also been enjoying some of my mobile gaming. Uh, I've been playing some of my uh, app games. It's been okay for a system, but uh, hey, it's a portable Sega Genesis. And I can play uh, Truxton. I got my Super Nintendo and I got my PSP. So I've been on the road the past couple weeks at home, um, but things are gonna start settling down uh, just for a little bit. And then hopefully we'll get a video up here with me and my brother-in-law doing some more hunting uh, down in Phoenix. You may have seen some of our hunt in San Diego and we're gonna try to do a hunt here in, in uh, Phoenix. I've been checking out Let, Let, uh, Let Go, um, Offer Up, and Craigslist and the things down here and I've been seeing some pretty good deals um, here and there throughout the valley so we'll be checking that out too uh, but let's take a look at some of the things that we uh, did while we were having fun this weekend some of the board games and card games some of my friends and family they gave me permission to put put uh, put them up on YouTube so that that's pretty awesome um, but I've been had a blast with my friends uh, all my friends got together to invite uh, to welcome one of our uh, local gaming buddies um, who's in from uh, the Midwest. He used to own the local game store, Game On, here, uh, him and two others. And then uh, a couple years in, he had to seek uh, other means at the time, and he sold his portions to the other owners, and ownership has changed here and there. Uh, but Game On is a local store in Northern Arizona. They offer board games, they offer Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, all sorts of different games that are available, um, uh, mainly uh, your tabletop kind of games, games you're going to play, whether it be card sleeved up, board games, or something like Warhammer 40k. Uh, but it's a great environment. Uh, I know the owner personally, so we had some after hours uh, uh, times. We hung out at my house and played some uh, Smash Brothers. We had the kids together. Uh, we're just one big family having fun, hanging out in the fam cave and things like that. And then as, uh, as we got food in us, and we chit-chatted and had a good time. We decided to head out around dusk and head over to Game On, hang out with Kyle, one of the owners, and we just had like, uh, we drafted some cards, Magic the Gathering, had a little bit of a uh, after hours party, nothing too crazy, but it's just us gaming community um, coming together, enjoying each other's time. Um, not everyone can make it out, um, but we, we have this uh, tight bond and connection for, between some of us Magic players. Um, and that, that transitions into uh, video games and board games and, and, and when we put down the controllers, when we put down the cards, we still like to come together, you know, share a good laugh, uh, share a meal together, and, and just be together in brotherhood and fellowship um, with each other within the gaming community. And that's what gaming's all about. Um, you've heard my mantra. I've, I've preached a lot. My, my fam cave could be the man cave, but it's a fam cave. We, we get out there. We enjoy each other's time playing games. I like to do that with my boys, too. And we just we hang out. Uh, we play games. We laugh. We, we make memories. Um, in the Magic the Gathering community, some of you may know, it's a very competitive kind of area. Um, which I was very competitive when I was in my early teens going into my 20s I would like to travel all the through the Northwest uh, and and hit Seattle and Portland and, and Canada and whatnot and try to um, Hit all the magic scene and, and win and win and win um, But through it all I don't remember every single win that I had and I really really remember all the relationships that I continue to have now through gaming so um, You want to go out to the local place now? Most people understand that that uh, I'm playing some weird deck, but I'm really there just to have a good time. So that's what it's all about. In a couple weeks, we are gonna have some time with Oscar. He's gonna be here for a month, so we're gonna try to hit, um, hit up some stores down here in the valley, maybe some thrift shops, um, some pawn shops, who knows, or, or game shops, and see if we can just get some, some quality gems. Uh, I know my brother Oscar's been hunting in San Diego. He's been picking up great deals. So if you're in San Diego area, Right now is a great time to pick up on, on the, the offer up sites and things like that. So keep an eye out for that. Um, that'll be coming soon, hopefully. And hopefully I'll get some more reviews 
Um, but yeah, mobile gaming has been been awesome um, this whole week. I, I'm down here Monday through Thursday, uh, just before Halloween, and I am uh, playing all sorts of things. Um, I did check out my at games a little more in depth. I picked it up for uh, 20 bucks, uh, and it's got the wireless controllers. Um, it's nothing to gawk at, but the wireless controller seems to work okay. Um, they say it has 80 games, but really there's only like uh, 20, 25, maybe 30 that are really solid uh, Genesis titles and all the others sort of uh, fluff. Um, but it's been a great system. Um, outside of the sound, the sound's sort of bad. Um, it is cool. You have the wired port uh, controller, so if you want to put regular Genesis controllers, and then also um, you can play normal uh, Genesis games, um, whatever you bring along with you. So outside of the 80, that's one of the gems. Um, one of the cool things about the at game Sega Genesis is you can play games on the go uh, through this. I hear there's a uh, way to modify these, sort of do a jumper cable and a remove a resistor or something to get that uh, really harsh sound out. Um, I was thinking about doing it for only 20 bucks. If uh, I, I'm pretty okay at soldering and all you gotta do is water, solder in a couple jumpers and then uh, desolder a couple things. So um, that might be a route to go. That way I could have something mobile gaming with a little bit better sound. Um, but what do you do? It's not HDMI or anything. Um, but I've been really enjoying uh, my Super Nintendo uh, Classic. It's a, a great console. It is wired. I know you can get some aftermarket wired controllers for them. But hey, I got uh, 22, 21 games here to play, uh, including Star Fox 2, so that's been great. And then um, I've been keeping my PSP on me. Um, I have a PSP 1000. Um, pretty much factory. I haven't really modded anything. I put a few skins on it here to be like an uh, Apple computer. Um, but but ultimately, um, I have a lot of gaming that I can do in the downtime. I don't have my kids to play with. Um, I'm in a company vehicle, so I don't get to drive around town and do a lot of hunting or anything or go play. Um, try to keep the miles down. So I'm sort of confined in my room, uh, the gym, maybe the pool and things like that. Um, but most recently, as you all know, I've been just getting into gaming. So I've been enjoying a lot of my uh, my mobile uh, my mobile gaming. So I mean, right here I have just more than a week's worth of games. Um, I haven't beat anything. I've been playing some Truxton, trying to get pretty far in that. I've been playing some Earthbound, um, but just enjoying everything that I that I can bring with me. Um, I have an old um, old GameCube mobile bag. I can still get my GameCube in here if I want to bring that. Um, but I can get in here uh, some controllers, some wires, and get both systems and get all three of these packed in here nice and tight and I'm ready to go. So it's an amazing uh, little, uh, the, the way things have come recently that uh, not only can I do mobile gaming on games that are, game systems that are designed for it, but I can also do uh, some travel gaming with some console play, which is awesome because it's all compact. I appreciate all the likes and all the shares that are going on. Please leave comments down below. I'm trying to improve the channel each and every day. Try to put out content on a regular basis. But until next time, keep smashing buttons, knocking elbows, and keep on gaming on.